Solving a one-step inequality is quite a bit like solving a one-step equation. First, we do our inverse operation. So we look for the variable. Here it is on the left. Our opposite operation of minusing 12 is to add 12. On the left, it cancels because they were opposites. That's why we picked it. Negative 12 plus 12 is 0, so it goes away. And negative 4 plus 12 gives us 8. We still have the inequality symbol. We still have the x. So this could be our answer. x greater than 8 is one way to represent the answer. So with equations, we'd definitely be done. We'd have x equals 8, nothing else we can do. With inequalities, we can also represent it on the number line. So I'm going to mark 8. Um, I'm not going to mark the rest of them, but they would just go by 1. And when we draw our inequality, we look at our symbol. We learned that greater than means open circle and shade to the right. When there's no line underneath, the 8 is not included in the answer, so we leave it open. And greater than means to shade above. We could also have a multiplication problem where we need to do the opposite. So opposite of multiplying by 5, we have a number next to a letter, and when they're next to each other, that's really multiplying. So the opposite is to divide. This time they cancel because 5 divided by 5 is a 1, and we don't have to write a 1 in front of an x. So we get x less than or equal to, this time we're going to get a decimal. 32 divided by 5 is 6.4. So if we were to draw this on our number line, we would be in between two numbers. 6.4 is a little under halfway. We're going to have a closed circle this time because there's a line underneath. And we're shading to the left because less than goes to the left. So less than or equal to, closed circle, shade to the left. So there is a special rule if you multiply or divide by a negative number while solving an inequality. The reason that we have this rule is because our positive number line and our negative are kind of in opposite directions. When you go to the left, it looks like the numbers are getting bigger. 2 is bigger than 1. 3 is bigger than 2. But in negatives, that actually means they're smaller. Negative 3 is further left, so it's smaller than negative 2. So the negative side flips what we're, the way we think about what's larger and what's smaller. So here we have a division problem, x divided by 2, and it's dividing by that negative 2 with a fraction. They usually put it in front, but when we actually work with it, we're going to do the opposite and multiply by negative 2, because a negative and a negative will make a positive 1. So it still cancels, but then we multiply by negative 2 over here. So we don't care what the answer is for this rule. We only care that we are multiplying by a negative 2 or we divide by a negative 2. So when we do that, instead of keeping it as less than, we're going to flip it. We're going to switch what direction it goes in. If it had started greater than, we'd flip to less than. We just always flip whatever direction it started in, flip it. And then we still do our 15 times negative 2, which is negative 30. So that's one special rule to watch out for. If you multiply or divide by a negative, flip the inequality. That does not work for addition and subtraction, only multiplication or division.